Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we, I can't believe it took as long as it did. And still... I know that. Okay. As hard as the falling was, yeah. it fell into place. I, I, I agree. It was painful. But I don't know if I agree because I think it was a, I think the whole study thing was just an educational process. I mean, I felt it was me, so it was very educational for me as well. I learned a lot. How yeah. to hold your tongue. <laughs> I learned how to not hold your tongue. How politics works in Tuesday. You know, and it, you know, but it was also really about the role. I think it That's was much more. Open discussion about the goal, and I yeah. I learned what the town you know. expects and yeah. what yeah people in general think we do, and it enlightened me in those ways too because mm -hmm. people say, "Wow, you're really showing us what it means." I went home to my fiance and I said, "They literally." Don't see me as human. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's not. <laughs> Well, but no. seriously, you were like, you're showing me. It's consistent with how you're doing. So, wow. It's really close to the thing. Was I thinking about it in the house? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to see. I'm not thinking of my future as well. But I. But I am just not thinking about how, how much more can I peacock my feathers out? <laughs> and I'm around them enough to get it. I'm right. It's I know 45. I, I now officially can say to one of the chiefs that one of the dads and said, we'll never be my right now. Okay. And now I'm, I'm just we're doing waiting. Hours. No, no, I think this could be better because the router's right there, just the transition. Hi, Melissa. Can you hear? Can you hear me, Melissa? Okay. Well, yeah, we're not doing it. Oh. We're all here. Your computer is very spotty. Um, Becky, is there another co-host? Because your computer is not holding its signal well, at least from this end. Becky, you're now muted. <laughs> I know, I saw it. They told me. I was like, how did I get muted? I think it keeps crashing. But I think we're better up here. All right. Oh, Becky? Becky, was this one going to be in person? I didn't realize it was in person. 
Uh, no, yeah. we got it. We have to do both. Okay. Well, I know. I just didn't realize it was in person. I would have been there in person. No, we had to have it online. We did the negotiation with Kristen in person. Okay. No, he's not going to be. He's not going to be here. I'm okay. It's really just Okay. Um, hey, Rita, do we need to vote? Do we need to vote? We need to vote. Yeah. I think you did. Okay. Okay, okay. I we did. Yeah. I heard it. Okay. Remember your second. All right. Um, I, I have to leave it. I have to leave at seven. Okay. I have. Where, I have so a seven o'clock too. So do I. Um, but she has to drive up. home first. Yeah. <laughs> right. There might, might be a few minutes late. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and call. Um, the meeting of the Shootsbury Select Board to order. Today is June 27th, 2022. And we um, will dispense with public comment this evening, which we sometimes do or always do at our regular select board meetings. But this is a special meeting this evening. And um, the one and only agenda item for this evening is to hear from the negotiating committee for the police chief the negotiating team. Negotiating team. It was not a committee. Not a committee. Okay. Negotiating team, which consists of George Arvanitis, April Stein, and myself. And um, we have met with the police chief, and now either George or April are going to present. Sure. Hey, Melissa. Hi. Hi, Linda. So um, we. You met all look like mass bandits. <laughs> Well, that's our next job. So um, we met with the chief and we made a proposal. She made a counter proposal. And what we ended up with was um, a salary in fiscal 23 of $65,000. That's year one of the contract. That's um, roughly $1,000, a little more than $1,000 less than what's in the budget for next year. We also agreed that we would increase this salary by 5% over the last two, each of the next two years in the contract. So year one was 65, as I said, 68, 250 in year two, and then a 5% increase on that would be 71, 663 in year three, which is fiscal 25. And the logic was the 65,000 is less than the budget. And this position is at 65,000 would still be lower than Franklin County. Mm -hmm. averages so by using five percent per year we get much closer there is also thirty twenty five hundred dollars i'm sorry thirty five hundred dollars additional compensation um, potential for the chief based on achieving an associate's degree and then the other one was a bachelor's, a bachelor's, a bachelor's degree. degree based on credit hours so um those if the chief indicated to us that she is very interested in achieving both of those goals. So once she does, her price, her salary at that point should be very competitive with Franklin County. It will also um, in three years be an opportunity um, after these increases to renegotiate her contract then and will recalibrate to Franklin County at that point. It's part of the logic. The other one other piece from the finance committee point of view is the year two increase of 5% would actually be a 3% increase over what we budgeted for fiscal 2023 for the police chief, which will be in line with the anticipated pay increase for the rank and file employees, because we're gonna have a 4% and a 4% and a 1% that one year when inflation is low, that'll be the first year of the three. So that'll be nine divided by three, it'll be 3%. So the funding will be definitely not be an issue in FY24, it'll look the same as everybody else. In FY23, it'll be a little higher, but you know the ink will be dry by then. And it, it also coincides with the personnel board's attempt um, to have you know the market alignment, um, and we're doing it again over three years. I appreciate you guys bringing that into this process as well, and not forgetting that. No, oh, no. <laughs> Other, do you want to mention the expenses? Just adding the. Um, yes, and then the, so as far as changes to the contract, um, the compensation section will be reworded to state what I just explained, mm -hmm. basically just showing each salary for each year. And then there's a modification to um, number seven expenses. 
And we're just adding in another organization, the Massachusetts Association of Women in Law Enforcement. I still remember. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Molly. <laughs> Molly. 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 So, so we're going to have to take a hit of about an additional $35 a year. <laughs> I think we can handle that. All right. <laughs> we didn't give her a hard time. <laughs> Wait, what's the percentage of the budget is that, George? Yeah. $35. No? <laughs> oh, I couldn't tell you. I don't have it. Yeah. Uh, less than one. <laughs> So, and then while we're talking about changes to the contract, uh, 16, the educational incentive, just so you know, the wording is an increase in two base salary for the, for the completion of a BA to be awarded in two parts, $1,500 for completion of the first 30 credit hours and $2,000 for the completion of an additional number of credits, 30 more credits to complete the bachelor's degree. And that becomes part of the base salary. So if Kristen accomplishes those things, then I think, you know, now we've got a competitive salary in Franklin County or the gap to where the average might be when it's time to negotiate the next contract is going to be much more achievable for okay. that remains to be seen. Are there any um, questions, comments? Uh, the only one I had, and this is just because of, of the world we live in, is it... Um, Kristen, do you feel comfortable having your home address on the top of your contract, which is an open document for people to request? Huh. That's a really good question. That is a very good question. Um, um, I would say that doesn't need to be there. And I only say that because of could we just, people being targeted at their home address for various um, things in the world. I, I, would have, I would have said in the past, I probably oh wouldn't have a problem, but as things are currently, and I actually know a couple officers that have been targeted, could we leave it just Ludlow Mass? Let, make them do the work if they want to find me. Well, unfortunately, these days, it's really easy to do. How about we just leave it? Yeah, why does yeah. it need to be there? It's fine. It doesn't. Yeah, it was just something that jumped out at me, and I didn't know how you felt about that. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good. Point. That's a good point. I, but I will have to double check with Donna. Okay. Because there's something about to make the contract between two parties legal, you have to identify. I'll just double check and make sure it's okay, okay if we. Remove and it. Becky, ask her if that's if it has to be there. Can it be redacted if it's released to the public? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a very yeah. good. Yes. I will do that. And only good then the point. file. The one in the right. That was just a, something I thought of when I saw that. Okay, that was my only question. Next question. Very good. You were a fitness instructor, huh? Yes, I was. Concordia University in Wisconsin? Yeah. Elementary education and teaching? That's where, yes. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> her LinkedIn she, yep, profile. I originally was it. going for an education degree, is what he was saying. This I heard him. Yep. And all I did was click on that. Oh my God. Okay. It didn't know, have your home I address. Know, I know okay. Linda has um has a meeting, as do I. Another meeting. Okay. So um do I hear a motion to approve the contract as um discussed this evening with the Vice Chief? Is the changes to the expense line item and then the addition um, of the fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars in the educational incentive line? Absolutely, so moved. Okay, and I will second. And all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Make peace, O'Neill. Aye. Daryl, aye. And I believe we are good to go. So thank you, everyone, so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Adjourn. Adjourn. Woohoo! Adjourn. Okay, so we will adjourn the. Uh... Sure, I'll make a motion. We adjourn. Okay. <laughs> so, so move. Second no, and. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank so you. Neil, I. <laughs> I'll do it right. <laughs> what did you say, Becky? I'm sorry. Oh, it's just Mary Lou's attempting to get in, but I have to end the meeting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>